TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, as we reach the closing bell on Tuesday, and quite a positive day we've had across the board in the markets. Dow Jones up 145 points, trading at 26,656. We have the S&Ps closing for a record close, up 25 points on the day, about 9 tenths, 29.33 in that S&P. Previous highest close, I believe, 29.30, somewhere in that ballpark, so be in a few points. Looks like, depending on how that closing number works out. NASDAQ up 105 points, 1.3% 1 in the positive, trading at 81.20. And the Russell 2000 leading the way up a solid 25 points, or 1.6%, trading at 15.84. We start off the update. Let's take a look at the VIX. We had a little bit of a market pullback in the final hour. So you had that VIX go from a low of 12.08 we reached right at about 3 o'clock, 12.30 on that VIX. Jumping over to the markets, where are we? There we are. We'll start it off with that S&P. So you saw most of the acceleration early in the day. We make a high actually just after noon of 29.39, looking at the June futures contract. We're currently trading 29.38 in the S&Ps. Dow 30, a little bit of a different story. The Dow, the major, um, the laggard of the major indices, as you have the Dow trading 26,653. You also had the NASDAQ closing in record territory, too. Check out that NASDAQ 100. Quite a run. 77.27 early this morning. We're up more than 100 points from that level, trading at 78.32. Crude oil, $66.30, quite a price for the price of crude. Gold contract had been under $12.70 on a couple occasions early today. Gold trading $12.74.15. And euro US dollar, euro weakness for most of the morning, we got a little bit of a pop from about 10.30, trading $112.22. So it is earnings season in full swing, and after the bell today, we're going to get Snapchat. We'll see if they can continue the run that Twitter had early today. What they'll be looking for in terms of what analysts expect, still looking for a loss, 12 cents a share, looking for that loss. Revenue of 306 million. Global daily active users, a big one, because they're losing money. It's all about whether they have people right now. 187 million forecast. And uh, we'll see if they get that number. Snapchat coming out tonight. We'll take a quick peek. Snapchat ahead of that, up 4%. Mostly on the heels of, how about Twitter, up 15%. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman filling in right now for the second hour of the Tom O'Brien Show. Have a great Tuesday.